Falling, 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 each one pile driving onto another. No regards for the safety of themselves or those they fall upon. The grandiose thoughts of taking over the world consumes each and every individual snowflake. These frozen molecules fall to the earth with the force of a 500-pound feather sledgehammer, each pounding themselves onto the particle that fell before it. With every moment that passes, millions of these slush monsters try to reach the earth to relive the glory of an ice age that abated over a millennia ago. They line up like Roman legions about to sack the frozen food section of the local bodega. Trudge on, they must, marching toward the false expectation of world dominance. The transparency of their crystallized bellies speaks of their impending doom. Imagine the arrogance of these many dictators, believing they deserve to be placed in the position of honor like the spirit of ecstasy. Once the cover of darkness fades away to the brilliance of a new day, the regalness of these mallards is slowly chewed away by the warming metal underneath their bellies. The belief of manifest destiny will lead to a watery demise from an overworked transformer. Heat causes their bodies to disappear as if sinking in quicksand. Continually standing in rows with no perception of precision, each mallard is wanting to see beyond the arctic ass of the mercenary in front of them. Minds being as fresh as newly fallen snow with the supposition that a clear place to perch during a winter freeze gives them ownership to the land. These frozen soldiers try to perfect a nonchalant stance while hiding the truth of being fear-stricken ice cubes. As more snowflakes fall from the sky, you can hear the faint screams of these suicidal paratroopers as they plummet to the cold, hard terra firma of this frozen metropolis, each one wailing the harmonious chant of a monstrous choir. Relief and jocularity consumes the ranks as fresh rations from the gods fall upon them. While seated on air-chilled thrones of granite, the effrontery of their bravado have given me murderous thoughts that continue to hibernate in my mind. Still and quiet, they sit as their minds scream from the searing heat of warming steel under their frozen essence. Do these mallards of this frozen metropolis understand that in a few moments they will have no more value than dog piss on the sidewalk? Even during the waning time of their lives, these beings mock individualism. As the encounter fades, so does the knowledge of how each commando came into being. None understands that at any moment a size 13 boot could make them nothing more than a pattern on a concrete walkway they claim. As the snow clears and mounds of this putrid, disgusting, soot-covered tundra that does nothing other than mock beauty as well as mimic a worthless impersonation of a zebra. The nightmare of the genteel sight of their pristine fauna against the horror of filth and pollution continues to evade each conscript's mind. Only a few of these monoliths to a bygone icebound era remain. As the comfort of a temporary frozen tundra dissipates, even the simple task of blending in the environment challenges the most clever selectee. The terror of trying to exist in the solitude of being the last of your breed. Each looking for a shelter to encapsulate their loneliness. Every inch of these melting icebergs expose the decay and filth of the land they momentarily conquered. Even through the most murderous of wars, the earth absorbs the dead and continues to mosey on and sprout life.